Uh, it's really cloudy today and I'm wearing my shirt and my jeans and yet the car's saying it's 19 degrees. I think I should have put my shorts on. Good morning guys, how are you all doing? It is now 20 past 11. I don't know how it's got to that time without us going anywhere. But it's a good thing we're not going long distance, we're only going to Swansea, I've decided. I was thinking of doing that tomorrow, but I've decided why not do it today. I've done a lot of driving over the last few days, Swansea isn't that far away, as far as I can tell. And poor Harley, he's not enjoying all these drives, so I thought why not go to Swansea, have a look around. We might be there for the day, I don't know. I don't know how big it is. And again, last night, I didn't go to bed till late, until about half past one. <sighs> I edited the vlog, rendered it, watched it, and straight away I noticed I'd done something wrong, some overlap somewhere on the clips. I don't know how I did that, so I had to stop it, re-edit it, just that little bit though, and then render it again. And it was taking about an hour just to render it. And then when I did go to bed, could I Eckers get to sleep? So I'm a bit on the tired side, which is why I don't want to drive too far. It was quite around the campsite, it was nothing to do with that. It was just, my brain just would not switch off. I think because I didn't know what I was going to do today and it was umming and ahhing. Hopefully tonight I'll sleep. He's waiting for us to go. <laughs> Fine, let's set off. He's such a bossy boots. So I'm finally here in Swansea. It was a bit troublesome getting in because there's been a lot of roadworks. But I'm here now, just looking around. Lots and lots of shops. I doubt I'll be able to go in many of them. And there's a church right here I'm going to have a look at. And I'm carrying my umbrella because it has been raining on the way here. And that's why Harley's got his coat on. Yeah. St Mary's. St Mary's by the look of thing, yep. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> Look what I've just spotted. McDonald's. I'm getting hungry. I think I'm in the Peace Gardens. Found this. And this. As you can see behind it, there's a castle. I'm going to go and have a look at that. I don't know what this is up here. Quite cool that. But I'm more interested in the castle. All gated up by the look of things. Still look inside. Not much to see. But as you know, I like my castles. Yeah, there's not much to see, you can't really go in. What's over here? Apart from a BT tower. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. There's some sort of staircase there. Don't know why. I'm gonna have a look around. I've been allowed into Oxfam. I've already found some that I'm gonna buy. All these James Bond books by Ian Fleming. They're only 9 99 and they look like they're in good condition. So finally, I'm buying something. Well, I think I found the centre of town. There's a lot of shops around here. I doubt I can take Harley into any of these. In fact, I've only been able to take him into a few charity shops. I don't see many of them on here. I even see a sex over there. It's a good thing I'm on a DVD ban. But right now, I'm more interested in looking for f somewhere to eat. I'm getting quite hungry. Finally sitting down for food. Having a sandwich. A drink. Outside Greg's. And at least here I'm out of the rain because it keeps coming and going. And yet, it's still warm. Anyway, nom nom time. So I've brought my books off in my car because I was passing it as I was coming to this place. This marina. Look how wonderful it is. Wow, I chose a different word. I didn't say beautiful or awesome or wow. <laughs> I chose wonderful. <laughs> but it is. I'm just trying to figure out how close am I to the sea and will I be able to get there before I have to go back to the car. I've still got just over an hour left on the ticket. Oh, and you guys are getting wet. Never wander about. Finally. I've had to go past all of this, I'm assuming, residential area, zigzagging left, right and whatever. And finally, as you can see, I'm on a sand dune. I found the beach. And uh, I don't know how I've missed it because look at how long it is. 
haven't got some for miles. I don't know. But I'm assuming the boats come out down here and then out to sea there. Yeah, that's one big beach and I'm just noticing something. There's nobody on it. What's that all about? I've got a feeling I'm going to get sand in my shoes in a moment. I'm not going to wander too far. I just wanted to find the beach. I knew there was one here. Uh, there were just no signs saying beach this way. I just started following signs for marina. Thinking, you know, that's near the beach. And it is. But <laughs> you have to go around all these other places to get to it first. I won't be surprised if I can go that way back. Which I'm going to have to do soon because... Hold on. It is... <laughs> 10 past 2 and my ticket runs out I think 5 past 3 and then I think I'm going to head back to the tent I've got a feeling there's going to be lots of traffic I'm really glad I found the beach and I think Harley is as well oh man, you're going to need a bath <laughs> uh, so we're back Harley's chilling behind me I've just made myself a cup of tea and it's only it's only quarter to four. I was right about the traffic coming out of Swansea, it was just stop, start, stop, start, stop, start and the lights, they seem to stay red forever before eventually they go to green. But it didn't take too long to get back here and I think I'm going to film an episode of Smeg Chris. I haven't got a script yet but I did say I was thinking of doing one to do with this tent so I think I'll be doing that for the, the next few hours. But all I know is that I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm fed up with these midges coming around. That's why I have this to get rid of them. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to chill out for the rest of this day. Maybe even have a few beers tonight. I don't know. Maybe that's why I didn't sleep very well last night because I didn't have any. Hmm. Anyway guys, I'm going to go before I ramble way too much. That might be too late. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. I've just remembered something from my Arctic Circle trip with Joe and Pete back in 2011. I borrowed Joe's electric bat and broke it, but I never replaced it. Oops. Shh, don't tell her.